Ay, yo, you make some paper, yo Hey guys, it's Black Vegito Samaritan Sex and a powerful video of the Batar Warriors. And today we have a powerful build that I actually really, really like and enjoy. And I have made the decision of this will be my secondary main character because I realize how much I love Kaneki and I realize how much I really, really want the new Tokyo Ghoul game that was supposed to come out soon, but I don't know when. So yeah. But yeah, guys, um, we're going to be making Ken Kaneki. Uh, if you guys didn't guess the character, you know, with the Kalo he's in my scary <laughs> video. Uh, make sure you go check that video out, too. It was the previous one. So, um, yeah. But uh, this was the guy I was referring to, and his name is Ken Kaneki from a series called Tokyo Ghoul. If you guys have not watched Tokyo Ghoul, watch it. It's not the edgy, grim show like it was. I do want to warn you that none, I feel like none of the other series of Tokyo Ghoul, none of the other seasons can compare to the first one. And if you want the true Tokyo Ghoul experience, read the manga. But, um, in my, you should still watch the other uh, seasons, but in my opinion, you know, just read the manga. But, uh, you know, I didn't even read the manga, I should do that. But, um, enough said. Uh, alright, let's get into this. For types, you can pick any type you want to play with. Uh, you can pick the One Piece, Nar uh, Goku, and Naruto ones. But I use the Naruto one because I feel like Kaneki will do something like that. So, uh, body. Uh, make him a little short. Body type, make him just weak. He, he is not the one that has a lot of muscles. I actually might make him a little bit higher. And make, make him a little bit more fleshed out. So, I'll put him right right here boom so yeah hairstyle i gave him ichigo's hairstyle and made it white the very last top for the highlights and made it even uh, uh even percentage uh highlights first um set very first top color first set very first top <clears throat> eyebrows uh oh man um just keep scrolling down on the first set until you get to this one. And for you to know that you go on the right one, it's right under a bushy eyebrow. And it has, a, like, three other eyebrows that keeps going down. You'll see what I'm talking about. But, yeah, right there. Ears, first one. Eyes, uh, what's it called? Where is it? Middle set. Very, the second set, middle, uh, middle tier. You know. So, the second set and second choice. Right uh, eye, uh, very first one, and the left eye. Gotta get the iconic ghoul eye. So the very last one on the first set. Nose, uh, just keep scrolling down to the middle set. One, two, three, four, five. To the fifth one, fifth choice. Mouth, uh, go to first set and go three down. Features, nothing. None for feature two and voice nine. <laughs> Voice 9, I use voice 9 because I, I think it fits him really well. <clears throat> Alright, but uh, yeah, with that being said, let's go ahead and go on to the clothes. And guys, we are back and you can see we have everything ready and done. And um, I definitely really, really like this build so much. So I'm going to keep this and pretty much make this my second main character. Give him like Saya clothes and, you know, make him more of my character and have it like that also, that Ken Kaneki factor. You know, so yeah, so I am gonna make different presets. I don't even know if you can make presets in this game. If you can't, let me know. But um, yeah, as you guys can see, we have a little bit of a major problem. His shorts are not white, and has like that little blue belt up top. The reason why is um, everything was perfect, but I forgot. I mean, I forgot, but I couldn't find any white shorts, and um, all I found was white pants. But I didn't have enough money. All I had was two thousand on me. So, and, you know, I would go get the money, but I'm actually have to go somewhere. You know, I have to go out right now to do something, handle some business. And, you know, I don't have a lot of time to uh, do two missions. Like, that's seven minutes to log off this character, go on to my, vo um, my Violet character, and, 
you know do two missions it's gonna take too long so um you know i just did the best i could do right here and uh yeah but out of 10 i definitely give this an eight uh because i actually really like this build so yeah without further ado let's go into the skills i use i use flame fist gave him a lot of red and dark skills because you know his uh uh, I forgot what was they called his like um special power or special like those tentacle things I forgot what they were called but um you know his tentacles uh you know how they're red and they're bloody you know he's really a black and a red type character gave him red powers and stuff mostly Asta moves if I had black meteor I'm not black meteorite but black hurricane I would definitely put that on here but I gave him flame fist Meteor combination, Demon Dweller Sword. I'm gonna let you guys see that. Boom. And Black Meteor, right? So, um, yeah. Boom. But yeah, so, uh, yeah. Now let's go into the customization. Um. <clears throat> so, yeah, this game so far is really, really good. I just feel like the CPUs in the, uh, low times need to be cut down. CPUs are absolute trash. Because, like, they keep spamming. And I keep dying because of it. <laughs> but, um... I, but usually when I spam back, I always win. <clears throat> alright, but without that, without further ado... Uh, alright, for the top, just get a plain black shirt. It's like, uh, 1,500, uh, gold. If you don't have that, and if you bought the game Ultimate Edition, because I, I have Ultimate Edition, you can use the black clover, uh, shirt. Which is funny enough, because I said uh give him a lot of black clover uh moves and um you know yeah, that's pretty much it <laughs> uh and for the bottom you can use like the pants was like this but white you can use that or use his second outfit which i didn't have en have enough money like i said guys i definitely would have you know went all out if i had enough money in the game uh so but if you don't you uh get the luffy like um pants that you get at the beginning of the game um nothing for the hands and nothing for the feet nothing for the accessories but if you want to have like his tokyo mask boom here and then this is what you guys can do uh you can add uh feature go to like this right here let me find it uh, where was it it was Oh god, where was it? Oh, here it is. You can add this. Position it over here to the... Oh, you can't do that? Well... If you can't do that... Then, um... Hmm. But, you know, you know, you guys know what I mean. You know, have, like, a little tat. And, you know, cover it on the left side. And, you know, make it cool. So, yeah. Oh, let's take this off. Alright, boom. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for the, um, uh, what's it called? Little things right here. So, um, yeah, that's pretty cool. If you guys don't know what mask that is, that is Toga's mask, I believe. Because her, uh, her hairstyle, and I, I believe, yeah, I'm pretty sure that was her mask, is in the game. And I think Toga might be able to make any DLC, if not Bakugo. Uh, or All Might, one of those three. Or, or Todoroki. <laughs> but I'm talking about a whole other thing. I hope, uh, Kaneki make it into DLC. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this build. Um, really, really fun build. I'm actually gonna keep him. Might delete him and, uh, tweak some things in terms of the eyes, eyebrows, and so, uh, some stuff. And I'll redo him. So, yeah. But yeah, guys, that's it for this video. God bless you, see you soon in this video. Happy birthday if it's your birthday today. See you guys later, and peace, my Star Wars. Have a good one. What we're going to end this off with? Let's end this with sleep. <laughs> Alright, see you guys later. Peace. <laughs>